good morning, afternoon or evening and welcome back to Edenia. My name is Krimi Clown, and you're watching me play RimWorld. It's time for Season 2. I'm not going to be beat that easily by this game. Uh, we're going to go for a crash landed scenario once again. We're going to go for the standard storytelling and we're going to go for the challenge. There we go. Um, we'll have a random seed. Family is my random seed. Great. We'll have a random site to land on. Slate and granite. That's uh, fine, I guess. But where are we? We're in the desert. And there's no... It's a, it's a rather flat terrain. Let's uh, select a site somewhere else. This is a tundra, which is a bit... Well... Perhaps a tundra would be good, but we need somewhere where it grows as well. This is a boreal forest. At least there will be lots of trees, I guess. But we'll, oh, this is a very short uh, growing period. <laughs> Only in a, a few days in the summer. That's not what we want. Not really. Uh, this is an ocean. You apparently you can select an ocean for a landing site. Which probably isn't the best. Um, we need somewhere with a bit of a growing area. Uh, growing period. This one's year round. This one's sandstone and slate. Uh, slate, marble, sandstone. That's all fine. Um, slate and slate and limestone. I guess we'll go for slate and limestone in this temperate forest with a year round growing period. It's a mountainous terrain. We'll do it. We'll select this site and we'll get uh, three random heroes and we'll. Uh, We'll get them maxed out as best as we can. Alright, and here's our dream team for Season 2. This time it's an all-male colony. Uh, we've got Julian, who's a scientist and the brother of Jose. Or Jose, I don't know whether he's Spanish or not. But we're going to go with Jose. Uh, Julian is the scientist of the bunch. He's got great research in crafting. He'll also do, um, do good with training animals and shooting. Also, he's got a knack for construction, but he's really bad at it. And uh, people keep telling me, yeah, you've got to uh, watch these uh, these little flames. But, you know, really, people are not going to live very long <laughs> if, they're on the, uh, if they're on the rim world. So, yeah, you might not want to pay too much attention to what they can learn, but pay attention to what they can do right now. Here's Jose. He's good with uh, social, uh, so he'll be our warden. And he'll uh, get a nice chat going on with everyone. He, uh, he's, he can do basic construction, do growing. And he is a night owl, which means he will work at night. And so is Julian. Julian is also industrious. Um, and Jose is a teetotaler. He will not use alcohol or drugs. And then we've got Sappy. Uh, Sappy is a music lover. Uh, psychically dull, so that's good. And an optimist. And he can do a bit of everything. He's not very good in particular, but, you know, we need more guys. So uh, let's get started. And there we go. We're going to touch down on the planet. Let's first grab all of the stuff that's lying around. It's going to be nice. There we go. Um, we've got a survival rifle. Let's pause it right there. Let's take a look at the characters. Who had the 10 in shooting? That's Julian. You will get the survival rifle, you'll get the gun, and you'll get the knife, because you're not very good at combat at all. Right, you guys, we've got a dog, a little doggy. Uh, he's not very big, a Yorkshire Terrier. At least we can train him into obedience and release, which would be good. So if he's following his master and his release has been trained, then he'll uh, attack animals in front of the master. So, so that's really really good. I'm not sure if he will attack pirates as well. Uh, there's ship chunks here. That's really good. Uh, I learned that you can deconstruct these. So that's really good. And let's take a look at the work schedules. Uh, we'll have everyone on priority three for everything. And we'll give manual priorities. We'll... Bo boost them up when we need to if we need something done because that's what happened last time people were finishing jobs they didn't really need to do at the moment so there we go let's put everything on three uh, you could be a two in researching if we ever have a research project uh, you can be an animal handler Julian that's fine uh, you can be a warden you cannot be anything you'll be the cook and the grower as well and you know, plant cutting. If I give an order to cut plants, I want it done. Um, 
let's see, mining. Mining, no one is really good at mining, which is bad, but you know, it has to happen from time to time. So they are deconstructing these, um, these ship chunks, which gives us steel and components, which is really nice. So is there any spots nearby? No, we're, uh, oh, there's some packaged survival meals. We'll need to collect those. Um, no, it's a pretty, uh, pretty barren wasteland. There's some more packaged survival meals. We'll grab those sometime soon. All right, let's, uh, let's start by digging into the mountain. We, uh, started over here, and that's fine. We'll, uh, we'll dig right down inside of this piece of mountain. It's, this is limestone, and this is slate. Uh, I think slate is... A uh, limestone is harder than slate. Slate is like 500 HP, so we'll uh, dig down inside of here. And let's take a look. Yeah, we're doing fine. We just need some place to haul all the things. So let's make a stockpile. Let's make a nice little stockpile in here. There we go. And we'll have a dumping stockpile up against this wall. There we go. That's, uh, that's nice. That's nice, that's going to be fine. All right, we need to, to construct a room. Uh, would we rather start outside or inside? That's always one of the questions. It's always one of the bigger questions. We could seal this off, basically. That's what I'm trying to say. And then dig into the mountain. Because digging into the mountain is really lucrative. You'll be really well protected and you don't need to build a lot of walls. Then again, you do need to mine a lot and we're not very good at mining. I think we're going to go for an outside base first and we'll dig into the mountain later. So let's grab all of this wood because we're going to need it and let's build a structure. So let's go into orders, structure, wall and we're going to make a wooden wall. And uh, where are we going to build this? You know what? I think we're just going to build it out here. So let's make a nice big building, a 9 by 9 uh, inside, so it's going to be 11, 11 on the outside. It's going to be 10, that's going to be 10, and that's going to be 10. There we go. We'll have some wooden doors. Uh, one over here, that will be fine. We'll only have one wooden door for now, and we'll have some zones for growing, because you always need growing zones. Always. There we go. We'll have a, well, not right by the door. We'll have them, we'll have them over here. There we go. And again, we want some rice and we want some corn where we want the most of it to be potatoes. There we go. So they're going to get on with it. Who is our major grower? Let's see, where is it growing? Yeah, we've got two green thumbs. One is a bit better than the other one. Yeah, so we'll have Jose uh, do the growing and the, the plant cutting as well. It's going to be fine. All right, there's no uh, no iron, or steel rather, in the vicinity, but there is uh, compacted machinery. There's walls over here, so there's uh, probably somewhere behind this. Something behind it. Probably like an open area. And there's no steel to be had at all. All the steel we have is, is hidden somewhere. Oh, there's a big lot of steel right there, but that's really far away. There's no steel at all over there, over here, no. Nope. Oh, there is steel over there. That's close by. Yeah, that's going to work out fine for now. There's no surface steel at all, except for those two patches. Alright, uh, that's going to be quite a challenge then. Right, so um, first off, is anyone hauling? Because we've got a lot of stuff and we want stuff to be hauled. There we go. Hauling and cleaning. We need you guys to get on it. Alright, let's turn it up just a little bit. Um, last time we had it running on times three practically all the time. We don't want to do that because you really lose track of what's happening. So, uh, if I'm on times three, I don't want to do any actions. And I'll want to keep an eye out for envelopes over here. So let's just get it on for a second. Uh, it's already getting late and we need some beds and we need them right now. So let's get some, uh, let's see, where are they? Uh, furniture. 
I will make some wooden beds. So there's one over there, one over there, and one over there. We're going to share a room tonight, guys. Uh, work. We need someone to do the construction rather fast. Uh, also, repairsman. You'll, you'll do both. Uh, so there we go. We've got someone constructing. So let's make it so. Uh, oh, he's already working on one of the beds. Now we're going to work on the second bed. There we go. And he's going to work on the third one as well. So now everyone gets at least a bed to sleep in. It's nice. All right. And Blossom, our Yorkshire Terrier. Oh, he's got nowhere to sleep. Oh, that's a, that's a shame on my part. It's an animal sleeping spot. You can sleep next to one of the beds. All right, so they're sleeping outside, which is not the best. But... You know, at least they're getting some shut eye. Oh, we don't want an animal sleeping spot there. Let's cancel this one. Let's take a look at the needs. Uh, slept outside in the cold, joy deprived and urgently hungry. Feeling terrible, but you know, the new colony hope is keeping them alive. So that's fine. Um, we'll get some floors in as well because, you know, it has to happen. You'll need some floors. We'll put in some nice wooden floors for now until we can afford to have slate and whatnot. Oh, what just happened? Some Something killed someone else, but I don't know what. All right, there we go. We've got, we've got plenty of wood, if I'm not mistaken. So this shouldn't be a really big problem then. No, we've got plenty of wood. Look at that. We can make tons of buildings, which we'll do soon. Very soon. So we've got um, uh, we've got um, the beds right here, right now, for now. But we'll move them to other rooms. So let's go into structure. And let's share the walls, because why not? Let's make this a 6x6 six six room. There we go. If I'm not mistaken, that's an inside of... Oh no, that's an inside of 5. My bad. There we go. Make it a bit bigger. Now that's six by six. Yes, it is. Let's have a door over there. And that's going to be one of the housings. So there we go. Getting rid of the tree. So there we go. Nice. I'll need to lay some floors in there as well. Some wooden floors. There we go. And we'll uh, move one of the beds. Because that's a thing you can do. You can just move beds. There we go. Nearly finished. Oh, come on. What are the other colonists doing? Looks like they're doing nothing at all. There we go. What's happening with our Yorkshire Terrier? I keep hearing yefs and barks. It's really, really awkward. All right, there we go. We'll have to sleep in this room one more night. Next uh, next morning, we'll get some butchering tables uh, and stuff set up in this room. And we'll make this the workshop. So what we could do is we could have a, a food storage in here. Oh, don't we have a roof? I thought we had a roof. No, it doesn't look like we're having a roof over here. Perhaps this room is too big to have a roof, or perhaps... Oh, he's just... He just hadn't made a roof just yet. Right. So now he's constructing a roof, finally. There we go. This uh, this stuff is roofy. Uh, it has a roof. It's roofy. Just... Oh. Don't, uh, don't listen to me when I'm talking. There we go. We'll uh, move one of the beds. And we'll put it on times one again. Let's do some production, shall we? Because this is uh, what what uh, made us fail last time. We just didn't start early enough with the production, which is really necessary. So this is one room now. Um, I was going to give everyone double beds, but you know, um, it'll have to wait. Well, we've got plenty of wood, you know, why not? Let's deconstruct the beds. Let's make every bed double. There we go. We've got plenty. Uh, also assign everyone to attack when, they're, uh, when they are attacked. That would be really good. 
Let's have some furniture. Let's have some double beds made out of wood. There we go. There's one. There's the second. And there's the third. These guys can get on. Now here's uh, Jose building the butcher table, which we definitely will need. And we'll need to move the stockpile inside as well. But that may take a while. Uh, we should also start... Uh, where is it? Structure, of course. We should build new rooms. So this is going to be another 6x6. Six six with a door on the outside. And this is going to be one other colonist's room. Let's put in some floors. Some nice wooden flooring. Actually, uh, I say nice wooden flooring for that homely feeling, as it says in the tooltip. But... Um, Actually, it doesn't really help to make your uh, make your colonists feel better. Look at it. Uh, wood plank flooring for that warm, homely feeling. But actually, a smoothed out rock floor is even better for them. So, yeah. The more you know. Let's see. Um, let's butcher creatures until forever. And let's... Um, there we go. Let's add a bill for simple meals until we have... 10. That will be fine. We'll have 10 simple meals at all times. Alright, uh, there's more wood coming in. Uh, we're also losing a lot of wood, so we might want to have a big wood growing zone. Um, you know what? We'll have a big wood growing zone. Because why not? We'll have some wood ready for the, for the future. The imminent future. Growing zone. There we go. Uh, this is going to be... Uh, this would be another area. And you know what? We'll just have these little zones designated for wood. So we'll make this oak trees and we'll make this oak trees as well. There we go. That will, uh, that will keep some plants growing. Alright, we, uh, we've got some wooden beds to, uh, to build. This needs to be built rather soon. But they decided to do this room first. Which is a bit odd. There we go. Let's fast forward it just a bit. And they're building the bed. And we've got a visitor. We've got a visitor. Some tribes people. Perhaps they've got something for trade. You never know. How are we doing on the steel uh, components? There we go. We've got plenty of steel, actually. Uh, we've got plenty of medicine and components as well. So that's fine. Um, we're doing fine with 17 uh, meals. So, yeah, that's nice. All right, now let's have a stockpile over here, a 4x4. Four four, and it will be a high-priority stockpile. Important priority for uh, nothing except food. So all the food we gather will be right here in the canteen. Because we're going to make this into a canteen. We are going to move this bed and reinstall it over here. There we go. And we're going to build a table and some chairs. So there we go. That's going to be really nice. Um, what is everyone doing and what are their needs? Um, she hasn't got the greatest mood. And Jose is doing fine and Sappy is doing fantastic. The only thing is she slept in the cold. But you know... If we need to, it will be fine. Uh, who is your trainer? You don't have a trainer just yet. All right. There we go. Food is in. And people are cleaning as well. I really love it that they're cleaning. Uh, let's save these slag chunks. There we go. We've got quite a bit of space to expand, which is really nice. Uh, Sappy's putting on a roof. And the bed has been moved, so we can finally put in the wooden table there we go and we'll have some wooden dining chairs to f to go with it there we go it's gonna be real nice now let's also have a torch lamp in the corner you know what we'll have it in the middle of the room actually uh, somewhere over here yeah that is the exact middle of the room and we'll have a torch over here by the door and over here by the door as well there we go People are bringing in the wood. We're doing quite 
fine on the wood just yet. So that's good. Uh, here's the tribes people. Now, who of us is the most social? Uh, social 1, social 6, social 7. So you will trade with him. There we go. Let's see what they've got. They've got some herbal medicine, a short bow, and some raccoon meat. I will gladly decline your offer. All right, how's the? How are the hunters? We've got uh, Julian, which is probably the best hunter, and we've got. Um, well, that's only a two. It's not really good. Oh God, this. Uh... Oh God. Oh no! No, 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 not Blossom. Ah, oh, damn. Blossom has been killed. No. Oh, that's really sad. Blossom has been killed by this tiger, I think. What kind of creature is this, even? A cougar. Oh, God. Oh, that's really sad. Day one. Day one and the pet is dead. Now, someone's going to be feeling the burn for that. Uh... Who was bonding with... Yeah, bonded with Animal Blossom. And him Blossom is dead. Alright. Um, sounds a bit um, a bit strange, but... Yeah, it will affect Sappy Smooth here. Yeah. Very sorry for that. So we'll get, we'll get rid of this uh, Animal Sleeping Spot. Sappy is going off for a walk immediately. He needs to... He needs to clear his thoughts. And I get that. It's really, it's really hard losing your pet. Rip Blossom. Rip in pieces. We should definitely cut all the plants in this area. There we go. As much as we can. Alright, we're getting some meat in. Oh, I know. Oh, it's not Blossom's meat, luckily. Oh. We'll probably butcher it, though. <laughs> uh, has to happen. All right, Jose is making meals, which is good. We need some. We need definitely need some meals and some defenses as well. That's not a bad thing, actually. We uh, we need some defenses. Also, uh, we could use w uh, some wooden stools by these areas, so they can sit at least a bit comfortably while working. Yeah, that's going to be great. Um, all right, these guys are clearing out the wood and the uh, and the berries from this place. There we go. And we could definitely do with those torches because it's getting rather dark. So let's uh, let's see what happens if we put it on times three for a bit. All right, everyone's going to sleep. Jose will need his own room very soon. You know what? We'll uh, we'll define his room already. There we go. Have a nice six by six, the wooden door over here, and we'll have uh, some wooden floors. There we go. Wooden floors in. We'll give this guy his own room so he doesn't have to sleep in the workshop. Because if we oh, this is still Jose's bedroom. It's not considered a workshop just yet, but. It, you know, it actually is. It is a workshop. This is Sappy's bedroom. This is Julian's bedroom. What should it be called? Edenia 2.0. It's the second season. There we go. And with that, I would like to end the episode there. So uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, this time we're going to probably survive a bit longer. I've, I've had some experience with the game now. And I'm really hoping that we can pull this off. So thank you very much for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Have a great day.